Hey everyone, Geo here. And as you can see from the camera angle, I'm coming to you from Epcot. It's a little windy and I'm coming to you on the GoPro 9 again. I've added some little fuzzy wind sleeves on there. So I'm not sure how the sound is gonna be today. But I'm gonna do the entire vlog from Epcot today on the GoPro. So you guys can let me know if everything sounds good. But continuing with uh, my two days of happiness, as I like to call it, <laughs> being here at Walt Disney World certainly makes me happy. So come with me as we go explore Epcot and the Flower and Garden Festival 2021. everybody I'm going in the butterfly exhibit this should be fun I love butterflies let's check it out I feel like I need to talk quiet in here I don't know why Well, that's it from the butterfly exhibit. What a beautiful exhibit. Apparently they've moved it to this new location this year. Uh, it used to be located a little closer to the World Showcase. I never went to it before. So if you find yourself here at the Flower and Garden Festival, it's worth a little stop in. Beautiful, well done. All right, and no trip is complete to Epcot without Journey to the Imagination and a little bit of Figment. So here we are, we're in the Imagination Institute. Let's go check it out. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. 
Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. So if you look out across the World Showcase Lagoon, you can now see that the harmonious barges are in place. There's a lot of controversy online about these barges and the fact that they take up the sight lines of the lagoon and they're gonna be permanently placed there. Unlike the old show, where those barges would come out in the evening, they would do the show and then they would get put away backstage. These are permanent. Put a comment below, what are your thoughts? Do you like them? Do you think they're an eyesore? Do you think they're cool? Curious to know what your thoughts are. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. I haven't been around them long enough, but they're definitely interesting. Supposedly during the day though, there's gonna be some sort of water feature that's going on on them. Um, it'll be interesting to see once they're fully operational, what that looks like. One of my favorite things about coming to these festivals are all the little food booths that you find around the World Showcase. And one of our favorites that Juan Carlos and I found was the one that features the meatless food or vegan food. And this year it's called Trowel and Trellis. And one of the items that they have is a Korean short rib that has rice, bok choy, some other vegetables, some sort of sauce. And it it's not meat, folks. So let's see how it is. Wow. You can never tell me that wasn't a short rib. It's got a little spice to it, a little kick. That's delicious. Trowel and trellis. Very good. Now I'm here at the Canadian Pavilion, and this is one of my favorite gardens here at the Epcot World Showcase. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's reminiscent of the Victoria Gardens that you can find in British Columbia. And Juan Carlos and I have been there a couple times up there when we went on our Alaskan cruises. So if you find yourself at Epcot, check out this garden. It's absolutely stunning. This one and the one over in the Great Britain Pavilion are two of our favorites. So I'm sitting outside the Canadian Pavilion. And slowly but surely, some of the entertainment is returning here to Epcot. And in just a few moments, the Jamiters are gonna be taken to the stage here. So I'm gonna show you a little footage of them. They've been a staple here at Epcot for a number of years. A lot of fun. Group of guys playing trash cans. Oh, a one, two, bibbidi boo!
All right, everyone, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm standing here with Craig and Carlos, and they are coming all the way from New Jersey down here to Florida. And as a matter of fact, Juan Carlos and I met these guys like six years ago on a cruise, right? Right. That's right. And it's amazing. They just happen to be here. And you know, our mantra is, happiness, happiness is, is a lifestyle. <laughs> and we are all super happy. I can't believe I ran into these guys. Guys, it's so great to have you here. Awesome. Welcome great to the channel. You. Happiest place on earth. Yes. And this guy, can't beat it. Disney, Disney. All right, yeah. we're gonna, I'm gonna go explore World Showcase with them. Ciao. So that wraps up my time here at Epcot. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of footage of the Flower and Garden Festival and a little trip around World Showcase and all of the beautiful topiaries that you can see here. Another gorgeous night and happy time here at Disney. And as I always say, happiness is a lifestyle. And until next time, everyone, peace out. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that button, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, bell notification, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Ciao.